Hey, welcome back to my Let's Play race on Yugoslavia in Hearts of Iron Tree. Um, I apologize from the for the last video. My voice was so low, or my mic was broken or something, and the music was too loud. But yeah, mm. I'll be continuing where I left off. Last time, um, after I stopped the video, I played for a bit, and, and Jeremy's gonna invade soon, and I know what I'm gonna do next. So yeah, mm, I'll report if anything happens. Okay, let us just um, um, report uh, of the what's the things that are going on I've now I have the British territory and I'm gonna move to Iraq now um, after that I might be going to take part of Russia or Turkey who knows and when I played uh, a bit forward last time when I was not recording, I attacked Sevastopol in one position. It was Odessa, Sevastopol, and Kerch. Uh, I attacked them all simultaneously, but I ran out of supplies because my all my su supply ships got sunk by the Soviet Navy. So I've learned a lot of things from that. <coughs> I'm gonna. Uh, land here, maybe all here, 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 so I can get Sevastopol, because I can get some energy there and some manpower. After that, I'm gonna move here, maybe take this area. So I don't need so many troops here, maybe one core, and then I can move the rest of my army. I can land here. Uh, can I? Here I can land in three, these three places here too. Maybe I, I can get. Uh, what were they? Uh, Transcribes to through Turkey. Turkey. Maybe I can get to there and attack. I really want these oil fields here. Um, yeah, this. This oil field here and this oil refinery here in the city of Bucky. After that, I might be able to even uh, unite these, take some heavy water, Rostov, Nadon, and Stalingrad, even maybe. At the same time, the Italians, Germans, um, my puppet Greek they will be taking this the north and middle eastern front and I think Finland's gonna get pwned again so yeah let's see how this goes I'll report if anything interesting happens okay here's another report as you can see um, Iraq is now my puppet I'm gonna call the new arms and I have the part of the Middle East, what I wanted. Maybe at uh, later at the war, I'm gonna try to take these Oman, Yemen, and all these areas here. But not for now. Now I'm gonna prepare for the Soviet Union. And yeah, mm, Japan's getting something wow whoa holy that's a lot of infantry <laughs> and yeah my supply lines are getting raped at the moment mm. but I'm buying submarines because 
are the only thing that can stop those English dudes from doing something f to me. <coughs> I really need to be careful when, I, when I'm gonna take Sebastopol and this Caucasus region. Is this called? If it's called that. I really need to be careful. My army needs 10 more manpower to reinforce. So, in about 2 months, I'll get my manpower back. And I really hope that I can survive and conquer Sevastopol and the Caucasus. After that, I'm gonna go take Turkey, and after that, I'm gonna just chill and maybe take these. Maybe. And when uh, Vichy France goes down, maybe, I don't know if they go, I'm gonna take. Um, is this. Is this area called. I don't know what. This area here. Uh, somebody could tell me in the comments what this area is, I would be glad. But, uh, I'm gonna report if anything interesting happens. Okay. Yeah. Germany has decided to attack and Soviet Union has decided for the motherland. Uh, I think this is... Yeah, it's a limited war, so none of the allies is in the war. Uh, uh, Axis, I'm not in war, Slovakia is in, not in war, so I will have more time to plan this. When the time comes, I'll join the war and ask for Italy to join the war. I really don't want Krieg to join the war, because they give me some random provinces there and here like the last game I got almost it. somewhere here I had two provinces and I got this area here about which is about a bit weird so yeah but they'll join if I'll join, and there's nothing really I that I can do about it. This time I'm gonna organize two corpses uh, there. So I have better chances of winning. My Saudi corpse will land at, or near, at, near Sevastopol. And when I have Sevastopol, I will send my Bulgaria core corpse there and I hope that I can get these I'll defend it with maybe three divisions bring the rest of my military might <laughs> and hopefully well I can keep Sevastopol but the Caucasus region that's quite large I don't care if I get only like this bit here I really want those oil fields and the oil refinery um, and then unite my little kingdom or empire when I take Turkey and I uh, yeah be a big country maybe even take Romania at some point you know but we'll see about that I'm gonna b bring the rest of my troops here and then join the war Then I'll report back. Okay, um, about ten seconds passed, and I got a call, a call to arms from Germany. I think I'm gonna accept this. Yeah. Okay, and I think. Yeah. All of the Axis countries. Wait. Okay, where was I? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think Japan's 
Japan is gonna join or Manchukuo. What is this place called? Country, nation. I don't think they're gonna join, but yeah. I'll report uh, when I land and I'm gonna put some music when the war starts. For me. Properly. Okay. Oh, and one thing. I'm gonna let these go nuts. Attack. I'm gonna let them do AI control. This is my hungry core. And I'm gonna see that you attack there. They're gonna take a bit of pressure off me. It's gonna help a lot, I hope. Because Slovakia doesn't have a bit of troops. So I really hope. Or maybe I can Slovakia Expeditionary First core accept there. No. Okay. Well I'll report when something proper happens. Okay. Now I am ready to go to war with the USSR or the Soviet Union or Russia, whatever you wanna call it. The moment is right. Germany is advancing pretty quickly. They're uh, have they taken well they're about to take Minsk and oh what's that other city Sh uh, city. Uh, uh Vilno or something. I don't care. They also take Riga. Mm, when they are at Smolensk then it's gonna get hard. So then the Russians will have their. The, what was it? Uh, the Great Patriotic War or whatever it was. It. So I'm. Um, <laughs> get as much as I can before that. And hope for the best. Yeah. I'm gonna put some music here. So I'll let you watch and enjoy.
random provinces. Here, here. I got a big town. Some energy. <laughs> I also got this town, which is Polish. So, which is a bit weird. And I also got this. Latvian pro province and Estonian province. That's cool. That's cool. survived. I had some transport issues. This war isn't finished yet. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is... Because the Germans are advancing rapidly. They're one province away from Moscow, which is... Whoa. going quite well for the time being. It's November. I think I'm gonna switch. After this video I'm gonna switch to parts of the years because it's gonna be hard to ex explain all this in years. Germans are attacking the Mannerheim line. With Soviets defending it. What? Yep. Mm. That's going well. Let's say. But our report if anything happens. Okay, there goes. Why uh, is this? The fifth year is this. Maybe, I don't know. I 
can't remember. Yeah. The Germans are really near at Moscow, almost at Moscow. And the Soviets aren't trending anytime soon. So I'll have a good chance of getting the Caucasus region. And yeah. This year is going a bit weird. I think it's been occupied and the Germans are at still attacking the Mannerheim line. And the Soviet lines are quite thin. German lines aren't any thicker, except here. Well, there's Italians, Germans, Greeks, and Yugoslavians. This is my. What can I say?